Hello everybody and in this video we're going to look at what's called scoping the literature. And scoping the literature is really a high level, very quick survey of literature relating to your topic. And its purpose is just to get some headline keywords, headline themes. What are people talking about? What are people writing about in this area? It's really just to help you navigate the literature in an unknown area. Of course, as well as this, you'll have notes from your lectures or your modules that may also give you keywords. But scoping the literature is really just to see what else is out there in terms of um, the academic literature. So to do this, I'm using Google Scholar. Google Scholar just provides a very easy way of finding uh, recent literature in a topic. But of course, you can use keyword searching in the library database, or you can use database searches and so on. There's lots of ways into scoping the literature. I like Google Scholar because it just gives a very easy way of finding highly cited literature. Okay, so my uh, topic is technology in the school classroom. So I will just enter that as a search term. Now Google Scholar will return articles essentially based on number of citations. In general terms, the higher the citations, in other words, the more people that cite something, the higher the ranking in Google, along with some other factors. Now, in this case, uh, this is uh, publications from all time, and we want to set up an early cutoff date. So, for example, we could cut off from 2017, 2015, or whatever. Just for the purpose of this exercise, I want very recent literature, so I'm going to cut it off from 2020. Now, what I'm looking for here is I'm not going to obviously read the uh, 75,200 results that have come up. What I'm looking for here are examples where people have used technology in the classroom. So really for me, the, the title of the article has to hit home on addressing that question. So let's have a look here. This second one discussion on e-learning solutions for students and issues of technology application in the classroom. That looks hopeful. So I'm going to click on that. OK, so we have a quick scan at the abstract. And my sense here from the abstract is it's giving details about what the um, uh, discussion will be about. So in other words, teachers and students take advantage of the Internet of Things to connect by the Internet and so on. It's not really giving me a lot of detail at this stage about specific um, kinds of technologies. So I'm going to go back to my main search. And that's really the speed that you want to be doing the scoping at. It's really you want things to be hitting home uh, and seeing, uh, finding useful results that you can um, use as keywords in later searches. So I'm going to scroll down and um, let's have a look at this one. So here, I'm just going to quickly scroll into the introduction. And we see here, okay, so here, here, here's a theme that may emerge in our, in our literature review, whether or not uh, teachers like to use technology or feel comfortable using technology. So let's make a theme about teacher comfort with technology. That could be one of our themes that we write about. We may, may not end up writing about it, but really this is just something um, that I can take forward to the next stage. Let's go on to the next page. And again, you can see how fast I'm doing this. It's really, this is doing going live, uh, just trying to get a sense of um, uh, some, some keywords. And I'm just scrolling down here. Um, so this looks good. Technology acceptance of four digital learning technologies. So we can see here, even in the title, it's giving out some types of um, use, use cases. And this is really what I'm looking for. So here in the abstract, it says, we compared four digital learning technologies, e-lectures. Okay, that can be one of my terms. Classroom response systems, great, another term. Classroom chat, another term. And mobile virtual reality. So these are four use examples that I will be able to note as uh, potential keywords in the next state of, state of search. I don't want to know the details of this yet. I'm literally just looking for keywords. Because that paper looked particularly useful, where is it hiding? That's this one. I'm going to see who cited it. 
which is called snowballing. We're looking at a paper that we found useful and then looking at who also found that paper useful because we will likely have similar interests. And again, I can just scan down through here and we're seeing um, maturity levels of teachers. That kind of fits into our first theme that we identified with the comfort of teachers. 3D interactive learning could be another theme. Um, student experiences, student teacher experiences. So that's about teacher comfort. Virtual reality, we've already noted that theme. A quizzing software, that was the classroom response systems. So you can see very quickly I'm generating keywords and terms that I can use in my uh, in my um, next stage of, of beginning to identify and find good literature. So how do we document all of this work? I'm just going through this very quickly. How do we document it? Well, one way of documenting is to keep a mind map. And a mind map is a really great way of documenting because as you see, I was going through the literature very quickly. I was just scanning and pulling out words, pulling out terms. And for example, we talked about teacher comfort and maybe um, the uh, ability and capability and interest of teachers in adapting particular technologies. You saw some things come up about classroom response systems and uh, how they might be used. Again, we didn't look into a really any detail. This scoping exercise is really just giving you an idea of um, the kind of things that might come up. So as terms are coming up, I just noted them down and then I started to put them under general themes. So for example, teacher adaptation, personal devices, physical technology in the classroom, assistive technology. And really what I'm trying to do here is start to come up with some headline themes that we might discuss in our literature review. Obviously, I've just done this very quickly and here's some more terms that I found as I was going through it. The task here is uh, not to be selective, literally just write down things as you see them. The next stage will take out uh, the themes, or themes you're interested in. So for example, I might follow up with uh, issues around iPads and maybe issues around 3D printing or issues around classroom response systems within these themes. So what I'm looking for here at this scoping stage is a generation of ideas. And now what this means is in the next stage, I'll be able to use much more specific keywords like iPads in classrooms. And that will give me much more specific searches relevant to that particular sub theme or that particular topic. This scoping activity is a very powerful way of generating ideas that you'll be able to write about in your literature review.